try and keep up with that K-Man. Oh, he's come around this corner really fast. But look, look, the KN can handle it. It's Rory Mackay. What the f*** are you Porsche lot doing? It's Italian weekend. I'm the only KN. They filled the whole car park. Okay. Okay. You enjoy that. <laughs> No, it's the V6. <laughs> well, hey guys, it's Joel. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my Porsche KN, where today we're taking it on a little bit of an adventure. I don't really know what to expect. All I've done is plugged in where I'm going now to the sat nav and I'm just heading there. But essentially the plan today is I'm going on a tribal Porsche meet and I think there's meant to be a large amount of Porsches, maybe somewhere in the region of 100 or more. And we're driving in convoy from where I'm heading now to caffeine and machine. And it's just gonna be a bit of a, a convoy drive and a meetup. And I'm pretty sure 99% of the cars that are gonna be there today, well, they're certainly not gonna be KNs, I don't think. And they're probably all gonna be very, very nice 911s, Boxsters, Caymans, and the like. But I thought it'd be fun to take this along anyway, because, you know, with KN ownership, which is one of the cheapest Porsches you can buy, it buys you into this club, I suppose. But it's just a lovely morning here in Buckinghamshire. It's a bit foggy, it's minus one, which is hilarious, because we've not really had any frost down here this winter and now we're into March, we can start getting frost. The weather in this country makes absolutely no sense sometimes, but it is just a gorgeous time for driving because these roads, normally these national speed limit roads in the countryside are normally just congested with just terrible drivers that sit at 40 or 45 miles an hour and then continue to do that in 30 zones. It's just deeply frustrating. To be able to just drive at the speed I want this morning is really, really fun. But yeah, where we're heading right now is uh, a location you guys are gonna like actually. It's a really cool place. I've been there a couple of times, but never filmed it. So uh, I'll show you once we're there. But for the time being, I'm just gonna enjoy the KN on this 30 mile run, and I'll catch up with you when we arrive. to switch the camera on and tell you how much fun I was having on this drive sort of through these rural roads in the fog it's quite fun obviously I'm driving really carefully came to a really narrow bit just now white voxel mocker barreling it down I wish the camera was filming and I pulled up onto a muddy verge straight away to get out of his way he didn't slow down came straight past and smashed my wing mirror in he does not fox smash my door tell him that luckily it's not shattered the glass or anything and I stopped, obviously opened my window to push the mirror back out and he'd just driven off. I thought the people of Oxfordshire were nice, but that wasn't very nice. But other than that, I was going to say, this has been a really fun drive actually, because the KN is one of those cars that's really good at doing a bit of everything. It does feel this V6, especially my car that is lacking when it comes to like options. Like we have the really rugged, non-stitched leather dash we don't have heated seats we don't have any of the fancy air suspension stuff down here no heated wheel fingertip controls none of that sort of fancy stuff you get on lots of the kn's because of that it has this quite rugged you know utilitarian is a word i like to use a lot it has a utilitarian feel to it and so when you're on those country lanes where people in white vox or mockers barrel down and smash a wing mirror the kn feels really at home but then here we are on a uh, just a 50 mile an hour smooth a road and it feels to be honest even better because you can go into corners that the car has no right to go around at 50 miles an hour and it just handles it so well on these 18 inch wheels it's actually made the handling a little bit less communicative and the car probably slightly less grippy i guess the profile of the tires are slightly narrower but even still it's so so unbelievably good for an suv let alone one that's 20 years old next year. But yeah, uh, really, really lovely, apart from that horrible, horrible man in this horrible white, horrible mocker. Honestly, I would rather to my hands and clap and then walk than drive one of those Vauxhall mockers. It's a hateful thing. OK, 
Okay, well, we're arriving at this junction where we're going to turn left onto the Chipping Norton Road, which means only one thing. Have you worked it out yet? It means we come up this hill here on the right. What we're going to see is the mighty, the famous Diddley Squat Farm Shop. So we've made it. We're here at the Diddley Squat Farm Shop which, if you don't know, is Jeremy Clarkson's farm shop, famous from his Clarkson's Farm series on Amazon Prime. Probably, honestly, the best show on television. I mean, if you haven't seen it, you must. It's fantastic. And there's a new one coming out in May. Is Clarkson here today? Well, no, because less than 24 hours ago, I'm pretty sure I was watching him chatting to Martin Brundle on the grid in Bahrain, so I highly doubt he's here this morning so we can't get his opinions on this KN. But what I think we're gonna do is go and have a little wander over there, see if we can chat with anyone, and um, I think then we're gonna go and convoy to Cafe and Machine, which should be quite fun. So that's the Squat farm shop behind me, which has just opened, although it's very busy. I'm not gonna go in there because I don't actually need to spend 12 pounds on eggs or anything like that. Don't have much use for them right now, but as you can see, it's in this most gorgeous location. Helps that it's a sunny day as well. I've been here a few times. The first time I ever came here was when I went on an Audi press day and I brought an R8 Spider here. I think that was back in 2022. Um, and I've been a couple of other times with my own cars. Nice 987 Boxster, we've got a 911, a 997 Gen, or is it? Sorry, it's a 991. And uh, here's the KN, which I did actually get cleaned <laughs> yesterday, literally a few hours ago. Um, but it's very, very dirty. As you saw the sort of roads we were driving on this morning, look at that. Also didn't help that I had to go up that muddy verge when that man hit my wing mirror. I'm pretty sure this mark here is new. Um, which would make sense if that has just come from that horrible man in the mocker, mocker man. I mean, I'm honestly not that bothered. It was just kind of the the rudeness of it that upset me. Obviously, if he'd smashed the the glass or something, that would have been would have been worse. But it's just the way that he didn't slow down. He smashed me. He does not fox smash my door. Tell him that. And then he didn't stop to just say, "Oh, sorry about that." It's just rude, isn't it? I don't know if you ever know, but once in my BMW Z4 the same thing happened except the wing mirror came clean off uh, which wasn't ideal okay so it's 9 45 which is the time we're supposed to be leaving from here at diddy squat to head over to caffeine and machine and that's more like it i was wondering where they all were but here they are so i think there was another meeting spot before here which i opted not to go to and that's where they're all coming from now that's really nice i think that's a 944 it's a 9964s so this is pretty funny, you can see that it's about probably a hundred Porsches, they're still coming in, have taken over the Diddley Squat farm shop car park. Pleased to say though, well I don't know if I'm pleased or a bit embarrassed, I'm the only KN, uh, but I guess we were expecting that, weren't we? There's probably 30 or 40 boxes, there's Caymans, there is a McCann I've just seen coming in, lots of 911s as well, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely the only KN, which is funny. Right, well this is completely mental. I'm just gonna get in my car. A few of us have started leaving. There's no real plan. I don't know who I'm meant to be following or anything like that, but after a large majority of the cars have gone, I'm just gonna try and get in the mix. And we're gonna have some fun today trying to keep up with all of these 911s and these Caymans and these Boxsters. Right, so we're on the road, on the way to Caffeine and Machine. I've managed to slot myself in between a 996 Cabriolet and a 997 there, which just sped off, which sounds great. Behind me, I can't see anything at the moment, actually. Let's give this KN a little bit of a boot then, let's see. It's not that slow. That's 60 miles an hour now. It does sound pretty good, this thing. Although I think the catalytic converter has come a little bit loose and it sounds kind of a bit raspier and a bit rattlier than it should. Right, well, it's just been a bit of a mega fail so far. I'm only 10 minutes into the journey to Caffeine and Machine and I've lost the Cayman GT4 that was behind me because I'm so fast, obviously. And the guys in front of me, I don't know where they went. We were in traffic and then they were gone. But it means I've got the road to myself. I mean, it's 10 a.m. on a Sunday morning and there's still barely anyone out here. And these roads are absolutely fantastic. We all talk about the NC500 and the Brecon Beacons, the Evo Triangle, and all of these amazing roads around the extremities of our nation. 
But the roads here in Oxfordshire are absolutely gorgeous, especially when they're empty like this. Ah, there's the Cayman GT4. <laughs> right up my chuff. And he's followed by another 987 Cayman. Here comes the Cayman. Oh yeah. Here comes the other Cayman. Now let's see if I can keep up with them. <laughs> In terms of handling, I can go around the corners. I mean, obviously I can't go around the corners at the same speed as a Cayman GT4. But on the public roads, at least, when we're keeping to the speed limits, I'm having no problems keeping up with these guys. I am finding after, well, almost 5,000 miles in the car, when it comes to the power plant in this thing, the 3.2 litre VR6, it's absolutely wonderful. It has this incredible throttle response, which is unlike anything else I've ever experienced. It sounds great, I have to say, but it is shocking on fuel and it's not that much of a saving on fuel, if any, over the V8 or even the turbo if you drove it well. And it is just a little bit too slow for me. The car wants to hunt gears. You can't just sit in sixth. There's not enough torque there. There's not enough low down grunt. And it will downshift a lot to just maintain your speed when you're on cruise control, even in 30s. It just prefers to be in third or fourth gear, which really frustrates me. But I'm just thinking, after such an amount of time in this car, I love the KN, but is it time to go into something different as my daily driver? Maybe upgrade this to a KN Turbo if I could afford it, if I could find a nice one. I don't know, should I get another L322, one like that in green with a tan interior, that is absolutely gorgeous. Comment below on the video now, either sell or keep, whether you think I should sell this KN or keep it. And now up ahead, it seems we've caught up with lots of the other cars on this convoy. I can see a 964 Cabriolet right at the front. That is gorgeous. Got Boxster, 997 911, another 997 911, 996 Cabriolet, which we left Diddley Squat behind. And then we've got a Cayman GT4, a 987 Cayman S in front of us. And it looks like a 992 911 Cabriolet behind us. So we have found the convoy. And we're now only 10 minutes from Caffeine Machine. That's more like it. Nice third gear pull into fourth and using the Tiptronic buttons here on the wheel, I don't really have any complaints about it. They're pretty responsive. You heard there when I upshift from third to four, I clicked and it instantly gave me what I wanted. Downshifting is a little bit more cumbersome and actually in just automatic mode, it can be a little bit lumpy, I'd say, but that's more at slower speeds. When you actually start getting on it and driving it like it's a Porsche, it's really quite good. But yeah, when I'm presented with that line of 911s and special Porsches, I do very much feel like I'm crashing a Porsche meet here in my V6 KN. Reminds me a little bit of the time a few years back in my V12 7 series that I crashed a meet in that, driving down alongside Zach's garage in a 488 Pista Ferrari and Adam C in his Cobra. Uh, and I was there in my V12 7 series with a very loud straight piped exhaust. I did feel somewhat like a sore thumb, let's say. I'll tell you what though, apart from that idiot earlier on in that Vauxhall Mocha, I could drive in Oxfordshire all day long. This is just gorgeous. Try and keep up with that K-Man. Oh, he's gone around this corner really fast. But look, look, the KN can handle it. <laughs> I've never driven this car in this much anger, but it really, it can take it, it can take a good punishing. Getting the apex there nicely. <laughs> I have to say that midnight blue 996 Cabriolet up ahead is really tickling my, tickling my fancy. <laughs> I didn't know what I was gonna say there. That is, it's really, really pretty actually. It's funny how cars, I think it's when they get to around the 20 year old mark 996, yeah, it's been pretty for a few years and it's 25 years old now. I think, yeah, when cars get to around that 20 year old mark, they just start getting pretty. I guess the same for me at least happened with the KN. Only a couple of years ago, I thought, you know what? Those 955 KNs, they're gorgeous, especially at the rear end. And I remember when they came out, I thought it was just this vulgar monstrosity. So there's something, isn't there, about the 20 year old stuff, at least for me. Maybe it's because of the age I am, I'm 27. So 
20 years old, I would have been seven years old. So maybe it's just the stuff around that age that you see, you just find beautiful later on in life. But yeah, that 996 Cabriolet, whew, I would definitely like to have one of those. Down into second gear, plant the throttle, round the corner. She's holding on lovely. It does sound awfully good, this thing. And this queue ahead means that we have now arrived at Caffeine and Machine. That was a lot of fun. I believe it is the Italian weekend here at Caffeine Machine, which is quite funny considering we're crashing it in all these Porsches. Uh, but I can see a Ferrari Pura Sangue, a 296 parked out front there, which look really cool actually. It's Rory Mackay. What the f are you Porsche lot doing? It's Italian weekend. Yeah, I know. I was wondering why they did it, chose this day for it. They, they, you, I'm the only KN. They filled the whole car park. I got one of the last spaces and that was about five minutes ago. <laughs> I'll see you a bit, John. Okay, see you, mate. Did you okay. enjoy that? <laughs> No, it's the V6. So here we are then, made it to Cafe Machine in the KN. Had a guy asking me if that was the V8 Turbo because of how I was driving it and keeping up with him. He was the guy in front of me. I said, no, it's just the V6. But yeah, as you can see, not another KN in sight. I'm very proud of this car for being here today. Lots of Boxsters, uh, lots of Caymans, lots of 911s. That is that lovely 964 over there. Beautiful color. And yeah, here we are at Cafe Machine, absolutely taking over the place. Beautiful 458 Spider, there's a Hurricane Perfumante Spider, but I do not care about those, I care about that. Gorgeous, gorgeous L322, very nice. That is stunning. Okay, so it's time to head home now from this tribal Porsche meet here at Cafe Machine. It's been really good fun actually, I really enjoyed driving down. And I was the only KN until I saw this. Which is a 4.5 manual KN, which actually formerly belonged to Taylor Hetherington of Auto Alex Cars. Uh, doesn't uh, belong to him anymore, but he did own this previously, and actually he did own it when I bought my KN. And funny enough, the wheels on my KN did come off this car. So uh, yeah, good to see that here, but that is really the only KN in addition to mine, which is parked somewhere over there. We're gonna go and find it now. Ah, oh, and there we go. That was a really fun morning. So if you're interested in joining one of these meets uh, in the future, the Instagram account that invited me was Tribal Porsche, organized by a chap called Martin, really lovely guy. And if you want to come along to the next one, I strongly encourage you to do so. It was a lot of fun, not only to be here and see all of the cars, but to drive as well from a location to another location. So let's start the KN up, uh, pop it into gear. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head off now from Cafe Machine and I'm gonna head home. In fact, the convoy is gonna carry on to some other destinations now, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna head home. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, this video of me crashing a meet in my KN. Look, we're actually gonna have to go off-roading in the car over the grass. I don't think you're really supposed to do this, but there would be no other way of me getting out. Now I'm laughing because I'm in a KN. All of these 911s and Caymans are gonna struggle a little bit here. In fact, we had to push a 911 earlier over this very mud. So yeah, there we go. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one very, very soon.